listening to the Pharmacy Podcast Network. This podcast is not approved for CME credit. Every diabetes treatment plan is different. Individual results may vary. Nothing you hear on this podcast should be considered medical advice. All claims are supported by clinical evidence referenced in the show notes. For clinical study results, please refer to Dexcom G6 user guide. For product-related questions, please refer to the instructions for use. For complete safety information, go to Dexcom.com forward slash safety hyphen information. Smart devices are sold separately. For a list of compatible smart devices, visit Dexcom.com forward slash compatibility. Finger sticks required for diabetes treatment decisions if symptoms or expectations do not match readings. Data from collaborator devices and products may be verified by those collaborator devices and products. Users should confirm data in connections with their collaborator devices and products. Welcome to Real Time Real Talk, a Dexcom podcast dedicated to pharmacists and other healthcare professionals on the front lines helping people thrive who live with diabetes. Dexcom is the leading developer of real-time, continuous glucose monitoring, also known as RTCGM, and other digital technologies to better manage diabetes. Real-time CGM provides critical glycemic metrics for physicians, pharmacists, and diabetes specialists to act upon to help their patients live with as much freedom as possible. Dexcom empowers people to take control of diabetes through innovative, continuous glucose monitoring. Real Time Real Talk is a proud member of the Pharmacy Podcast Network. For more information on all Dexcom technologies, products, and services, please visit Dexcom.com. That's D-E-X-C-O-M.com. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Real Time Real Talk by Dexcom. I'm your host, Cher Pastori, and this is where we talk about all things real time continuous glucose monitoring. On today's episode, we have a special guest speaker, Manisha Agarwal, and she is Senior Director at Dexcom, Senior Director of Patient Support Services. And today we're going to talk about dispelling the myths about cost and coverage for Dexcom real time. CGM. Welcome, Manisha. Hey, Cher. I am uh, super excited to be here on this podcast with you. And of course, this topic is close to my heart and would love to talk about dispelling the myths of cost and coverage for Dexcom, which is actually one of the most covered CGM in the market. Oh my God. I'm so glad that you mentioned that because I feel like people definitely don't know that. And I really want to get that out today. I want our listeners to understand how Dexcom is covered. Some of the programs that we have, you know, some of these programs are so new at Dexcom that even I don't know about them. So I can't wait for you to tell everyone about them. So just tell us a little bit, tell our listeners a little bit about yourself and how you got into uh, this area. Sure, of course. Uh, So I've been with Dexcom for over two years, establishing this organization, Patient Support Services. Uh, Typically, a patient support organization is responsible for to find solutions that eases the journey of a patient from awareness to diagnosis, prescription processing, access adherence. And the solutions could range from helping our patients or prescribers, getting information regarding coverage and channels, where uh, that may work for their insurance better and work with them on uh, prescription processing support, benefit checks, prior authorization support, and even coming up with some affordability solutions. Uh, So I've worked in this similar space in the past and I absolutely enjoy being uh, able to find some innovative solutions for patient and prescribers, getting Dexcom easily, getting the right information around their cost and coverage and channel that may work best for their coverage. Well, so Manisha, you know, I just want to say, I think you've done an excellent job because as I've already mentioned, there are so many programs now that didn't exist before. So I've been at Dexcom for almost five years. And so since your time here, I feel like you've really um, done such a great job and I'm so happy. So let's tell some of our listeners um, about our programs. Let's start at the beginning. Like, let's start talking about how is Dexcom real-time continuous continuous glucose monitoring, how is it currently covered through health insurance, like through pharmacy? Let's talk about that. 
Sure. So um, Dexcom is covered broadly uh, under uh, both commercial and medical benefits. Uh, as I mentioned, we are most covered CGM in market with 87% coverage in commercial insurance space. So basically, one third of our patients under commercial coverage pay zero dollar out of their pocket and majority pay less than $40 per month. In fact, Dexcom has three times more patients paying zero dollars than any other competing CGM system. And you know, even on the government insurance, uh, uh, Dexcom has a very robust coverage. And uh, uh, you may already know there was a recent ruling change uh, from CMS where they expanded coverage for CGM for more people with diabetes, including those who are not on insulin. And this opens up coverage for so many more people for Dexcom, so they can they can manage their diabetes much better. Wow, that's so amazing. So basically, let's talk about like how it would first happen. So either a patient has heard about a Dexcom and they would ask their doctor, they would go to their doctor and say, okay, I'm interested in getting this. Can you prescribe it? Or the doctor or the healthcare professional would say, um, I would like you to try a Dexcom and they would start the prescription process. Is that right? That is correct. So patients can go to directly to the prescriber. They can, uh, prescriber can uh, prescribe uh, Dexcom for them. In addition, patients can even uh, get show their interest going online to, to our website and uh, click on Get Started. They can fill in some information on their insurance and their prescriber. Um, they get their expected out-of-pocket cost and channel where they can get the product like right away in within a few seconds. In addition, uh, they can reach out to their insurance provider uh, who should be able to clarify their coverage. And for prescribers, we have a tool called Patient Cost Estimator that enables them to find patients out of pocket. Okay, great. So can we talk about maybe how some of these myths did happen? Because I was recently at, uh, maybe it was like two months ago, I was at a conference uh, mm -hmm. in Washington, D.C., just a, uh, um, a primary care conference, a conference where primary care physicians are attending sessions. And I was at the conference and I did overhear some people say, oh, Dexcom is too expensive or Dexcom is too hard to prescribe. So can we try to just talk about again how that isn't true or or maybe talk about how it could have started like that so uh, it's it's interesting uh, interesting uh, share that you have mentioned um and yes i have heard that too um over last few years um our teams our managed market team has worked really tremendously to expand the coverage uh, uh for our patients so truly it is not uh, it is not true anymore and as i mentioned uh one third of our patients who are covered under, under commercial insurance pay zero dollars and you know majority pays less than forty dollars so it is really very much affordable th through their health insurance in addition we continue continuously you know keep on look, uh, listening to the customer experience customer issues working with our customer experience team and we have many affordability solutions now uh, we recently launched a cash option and we have a patient assistance program for low income uh, patients so uh, truly i would encourage patients and prescribers to uh, utilize these tools and check and double check their coverage because uh, this may not be true anymore. Okay, great. So let's talk about the um, services that are currently available for the prescriber. Let's talk about those first. I think you mentioned the PACE tool, and I don't know if there are more, but tell us what the tools are first for the prescriber. Sure, absolutely. Um, so for prescriber ease, uh, we have a hub pharmacy where prescription can be sent for full processing uh, of the prescription from uh, you know, benefit checks to uh, prior authorization and guiding the patient to the right channel where they can get their uh, uh, their product uh, either through a pharmacy or through a DME. DME. Uh, for self-service offices, uh, we have tools like patient cost estimator I mentioned, where, uh, where prescriber offices can uh, input five fields for patient, first name, last name, uh, zip code, gender, and uh, date of birth. 
and they validate with their NPI and they get the out-of-pocket uh, information for the patient. We also have electronic prior authorization support for some of the areas where patient prescriber may require to do a PA, which enable a patient to get coverage and a low out-of-pocket. Um, we even have a specialized prescriber support team uh, in case offices have uh, patient insurance questions where patients can, uh, prescriber can call and uh, just a uh, prescriber or prescriber offices can call and get the information on the patient insurance. And lastly, um, last but not least, providers can go online and order samples and, you know, on, the, on our provider website. And, uh, and uh, that enables them to get confidence on our, you know, how accurate and how wonderful our uh, product is. Okay, great. So those programs that you just described, are those through the DME channel or is that through pharmacy or is that both, both DME it's and both. pharmacy? It's both. These are, yeah, these are, these are generic uh, tools that prescriber, depending on, you know, the challenge they may have, uh, they can use, they can use the hub pharmacy, they can use the prior authorization support, they can use the cost estimator or um, the prescriber support team or just order online uh, samples. Okay. And, but also a prescriber could just write a prescription and uh -huh. the person with diabetes could just go down to the pharmacy, right? And, and just That's be there and be like- That's absolutely correct. Okay. They can write a prescription directly to the pharmacy. They can write a prescription uh, if the patient prefers to a DME channel or distributor channel in case they are getting their diabetes product from that distributor. And uh, the uh, distributor will work with the patient uh, and the prescriber to get the rest of the paperwork and carry them through for getting the product. And would it be like, would a person with diabetes who wanted a Dexcom, would they maybe call their insurance and find out the best route for them to go? Is Would there maybe be a way that is less expensive, say either through DME or pharmacy, or would they just get it one way? So they can get, uh, most of the patients, uh, uh, they can get, uh, you know, either way. A pharmacy channel is, uh, it, it does depend a little bit on their uh, coverage. And for that, they may have to call the patient, uh, uh, sorry, their insurance, or as I mentioned, they can uh, online, go online, express interest, and there, you know, they get guided uh, on where uh, they can get their product. Sometimes patient may just prefer to go to their uh, DME channel because they are getting their diabetes product. Or they just want to go to a retail pharmacy because that's much more convenient for them. And they have a commercial insurance, which has a great pharmacy coverage, and they can get their product there. Um, if the uh, patient prescriber has prescribed their prescription to our hub pharmacy, hub pharmacy um, uh, partner, they can work with the patient to figure out the best channel. It can be a pharmacy, it could be a DME, or it could be a home delivery through pill pack, uh, you know, powered with Amazon. And patient can get their product delivered at their home every month uh, um, and without going through the, you know, uh, prescription process again and again. You know, that's a great point that you bring up. And I really want to reiterate that to our listeners. Really, the the person living with diabetes can choose to get it where they want to get their products, <laughs> right? So if they do happen to get everything at the pharmacy, say their medications, or if, if they take insulin through a syringe, or however they're getting it, we want to be, you know, if they just want to get it the easiest way possible is what we've tried to do. Sure, I think that's a hundred percent. We want to make it easy. I mean, uh, you know, the patient with diabetes, they already have so many things. So we want to make it easy for the patient. We want to make it easy for the prescribers to uh, go to the process. And yeah. Uh, definitely, yeah, uh, uh, these channels provide that ease. I feel like they really do. So if they want to get it at the pharmacy, okay. If they want to get it mail order, okay. If they want to get it through mm -hmm. their DME channel, okay. So I do think that that's great. So, so it, on one level, the person might be like, oh, wow, I have so many options. But when you think about it, okay, research the options, decide which one is the best for you, and then you can that get it. That is absolutely correct. Yep. Oh, so, so happy to hear that. Okay. Now, if you mentioned it before, just mention it again, please. So we talked about the options that are available for the prescriber. So let's talk about the other options 
that are available for the patient? Sure. Do- uh- Sure. So patients, uh, for patients, we have, uh, as I mentioned, some online channel where patients can go and express their interest in Dexcom, or they can request a sample uh, for Dexcom. So uh, they fill in their information, they can get their uh, out-of-pocket information right there online. Uh, Once they have filled the information online, our uh, hub pharmacy partner will work with the patient and the prescriber to get the prescription, run the coverage check, determine the best uh, channel that will be suitable for the patient and direct their prescription to the pharmacy, distributor, or home delivery, what works best for their coverage and for the patient. In addition, uh, we also have some affordability programs other than coverage. If the patient is not covered, uh, or uh, which is a very small percentage of uh, patients who are not covered, or if the patient chooses not to go through their insurance, they can go through their uh, these discounted cash option, which are available either at a pharmacy uh, through GoodRx, or if patient is not covered, it automatically kicks in uh, at the pharmacy when they are running their prescription. We also have a patient assistance program for low income type one patients. Um, and they again, they can go online on assistance.dexcom.com, fill in their information. Uh, the, the partner will connect with the patient if they are eligible and walk them through how to get their um, product. Okay, great. So it sounds like even if they're somehow isn't any coverage at all. We have a cash pay option for the person living with diabetes to get uh, our Dexcom. So this is so amazing. We talked about um, the options that are available for the prescriber, for the patient. And let's talk a little bit more about some benefits to both the prescriber and the person living with diabetes. So some of the benefits are, of course, are that we've made this easier to get. Um What are some other benefits either to the prescriber or the patient for going through some of these channels? Um, So, uh, uh, you know, uh, while Dexcom is most covered, there could be times with coverage option, uh, there is a need to help the patient and prescribers to, you know, understand what the coverage looks like, where to get the product. And these provide uh, tools really provide a way to get that information easily and also, you know, uh, get their prescription processed uh, easily through these tools so that uh, the journey of the prescription to product for the patient and prescriber becomes easy and smooth. Perfect. Great. So we've talked so much about all these options that are available, and it really seems that Dexcom, getting a Dexcom real-time continuous glucose monitor is is much more accessible now than ever. And I'm so happy that you were able to tell us about these programs. So just before we leave today, um, what do you want either a person living with diabetes or a prescriber, what would you say is the biggest takeaway that you want them to understand from today's episode? Well, I want to say Dexcom is most covered CGM and most accurate CGM in the market. And cost to the patient is actually none or really low, lower than uh, other competing brands. So make sure you check your coverage and options while making your decision for your diabetes care. Perfect. Thank you so much for all of your advice today. Thank you, listeners. And tune in next time for another episode of Real Time Real Talk. Thank you, Cher, for having me.